Hey Raiders, welcome back to another Live Arena Battle video. This video will feature two fights and one win. I'm still testing the waters to see how overpowered my opponents are, and as I get Eternal Titans yet again, this time I have Dank Trees, and I've recently fought Doomin, and I can't remember the other one, Sephiroth. Uh, so I keep drawing Eternal Titans with my limited battles. So right off the bat, I'm going to face a Duchess and Taurus combo, and there's the Yumiko that I expected, and a plus four fully awakened Rotos. So I'm a bit overpowered on this one with an Eternal Titans opponent. He doesn't appear to have a Marichka, though, so maybe I have a shot. I can ban the Yumiko, and he goes... Ultimate Death Knight. So that plus four Rodos is going to be my undoing here. But we'll see how it goes. The unfortunate part of this fight is I'm running this with Necret, and my damager is Ragash. So I don't have my Rodos counter ready. And there goes Rodos off and he starts working on me immediately, so I'm just overpowered. And my phone's telling me I should quit because my battery's getting low. I'll bring back Necret, but basically I'm just chasing him from behind at this point. And I'm probably not going to have much of a chance of winning this one. It's it's hard when he can just take out my Necret over and over again, but also Ragash is going to have such a hard time. The first hit's going to be wasted on Ultimate Death Knight, and then the second hit is likely going to weak hit on Rodos. So, Ragash is great countering Taurus, but not so good countering Rodos. At that, at this point, like you can easily fight through Warlord cooldowns if you have Rodos. Taurus's A1 is fine. Rodos he's going to gain his extra skills. So, pretty tough team. Was pretty overpowered. He's 26.6 million power. Yeah, almost double mine. So, getting in it for another battle. I don't like losing one and then bowing out. So I got Alex Levi at about my my points level. I get the first pick again, and I'm going to go Sifi. See who he goes with. And he goes Duchess Rodos. So at least it's not a plus four. It's not fully awakened. So we'll see what I can do here. I'm going to go Warlord because, again, this is... I'm kind of going back to the Warlord strategy, back to my Gold 1 picking strategy, because since I decided I'm going to wait until more Gold 1s are in Gold 2, then I should have more luck with that strategy. So I'm going in this way to try and counter Rotos. And then there's a Yumiko and a Wukong. Wukong is not very good at countering Rotos, so I did not include him. Go ahead and put in my Rotos counter of Goffred, and then my Stone Skin Nuker, Errol. The hard part here is that Wukong does not look like a damage Wukong. He looks like an accuracy Wukong, so he's probably pretty fast. If he's faster than me, he's going to sheep my Warlord, which looks like what he wants to do since he banned my Seafee. And I don't have any speed aura, and he does. So he only needs to be a fairly slow one. But I go first, I put him on cooldown. So actually I got pretty lucky there. He was not faster than me, and I'm able to take the lead here. <laughs> Reaction procs three times on a Nithway there. But I'm able to stun them all. I'll go ahead and just A1 and kill Ramontu. And he leaves the battle because he knows my A3 is going to take him out at that point. So I did win one out of two. Rankings can get a little glitchy, where a few days ago it showed me at rank 1750, and then the next day it showed me at 1000. That's actually 1750, and now it's back up to 1500, but I know there's more in there than that. So, one and one on the day, but still, because I keep drawing Eternal Titans with overpowered teams, I know it's going to be a while. So, in any case, hope you enjoy the video and take care.